Uh, in the last video, we decided that ozone layer uh, O3 molecule protects us from UV light, the damaging UV light, especially UVC, in upper stratosphere. Uh, now what happens is destruction of ozone can also be catalyzed by compounds known as chlorofluorocarbons and nitrogen oxides. Now chlorofluorocarbon, the most famous and or infamous one is R12 or chlorofluoro 12 which is a carbon with four attachments. It has two chlorines and uh, two, uh, two fluorines, two chlorines. We used and we made quite of this chemical and sold it as refrigerants. You put, put it in your AC, in your refrigerators as a coolant and also into hairspray. Now what we didn't realize is that this molecule, this gaseous molecule goes into also upper stratosphere and it's going to break apart. The carbon chlorine bond is rather weaker than carbon fluorine. Carbon fluorine is about 467 kilojoules per mole to break it, but carbon chlorine only needs 346 kilojoules per mole. So UV light will break this and produces something known as a free radical, which will destroy our ozone layer. So if I give you a molecule of R12, CF2Cl2, gaseous. Now what happens when it's up there, UV light, simply break it. And this breakage is known as homolytic fission. So fission for breakage. And homolytic means each partner will take one, uh, one of the electrons and goes away. Only chlorine breaks apart. This dot indicates you have formed a species known as free radical, extremely reactive, in this case destructive, and also the leftover chlorine is also another free radical. Now this chlorine free radical will go after ozone and simply breaks it into oxygen, gaseous, and CLO dot, a newly formed free radical. Uh, then CLO dot will go after another uh, oxygen free radical which is in the vicinity and give you more free radical of chlorine plus oxygen atom. Now this is going to go back and do the same reaction so it's a vicious cycle that doesn't stop. Now what happens for every one molecule of uh, Freon or CF2, Cl2 chlorofluorocarbons, you are going to dis destroy about 100,000 molecules of ozone. So it's really scary and it's happening in, uh, and we have in Antarctic evidence that the amount of ClO dot uh, we, we produce is equal to amount of ozone that we have lost and the ozone hole, hole has shown up. Now nitrogen oxide does the same sort of reactions and uh, you should be able to realize the reaction once you see it on a paper. So NO2 gas also goes to up there and UV is breaking it into nitrogen oxide gas, not free radical, plus oxygen free radical. The oxygen free radical now goes after the ozone and breaks it into two molecules of gaseous oxygen. Now what happens, this nitrogen uh, monoxide also goes after ozone and is capable of destroying another ozone molecule uh, to give it, to give you NO2 back plus oxygen gas. Now if you look at this NO2, is same NO2 and this vicious cycle, cycle also starts happening. So this is usually the case. One molecule of chlorofluorocarbon or nitrogen oxide is capable of destroying 100,000 molecules of ozone, which protects us against UVC.